This is going to be a quick video to show you how to upload SkillsUSA membership using a template. It is intended for people who have more than 50 members to upload, but if you have less, you're still more than welcome to use this template. There's two template options that you'll have. The first one is a simple template, and the second is a full template. The simple template only allows you to upload students, no professionals, and all students are uploaded into the division your school is listed as. So if you're a high school, you're listed as a secondary school, and you can only upload secondary students. It also allows you to include first name, last name, gender, and email. The full template, you can upload students and professionals by indicating a code on the upload that I'll show you. You can choose the division, so if you have some secondary and some post-secondary, you can choose that. It also allows you to include some more details like home address, graduation year, date of birth, and phone number. Some things to remember before we get started is to make sure that you have created the training programs that you want to put your students in. And you also do not delete any column headers once you pull up the template. You'll want to make sure to save it as an Excel file before uploading it. And also make sure not to drag copy when you're looking to insert multiple students that have the same information, do not pull down on the corner and drag. It will not allow us to upload the file if we do that. And then you want to upload the Excel file to the website, but remember you still have to submit the members that you uploaded. Once you are on register.skillsusa.org, you should see a login page. What I'm going to do is go ahead and log in. I will say if you don't have a login, go ahead and create one. But since I already have one, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And your page should look like this. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and choose the membership icon over on the left of your screen. We're coming here to make sure we have training programs set up. So I have an agricultural mechanics program and a criminal justice program set up. Let's say I had another class that I wanted to add a training program for. We could use this new program button to add that training program. You want to make sure this is set up before we go to the upload option. So we'll add another one just to, so that you can see what it will look like on our upload. Vision, we'll choose high school and I'll choose save. So you'll see we have three training programs and that's all I'm going to want for today. Then we can come back up here to the membership tab at the top of your screen and choose upload membership data. Your page should then look like this. You'll have a simple option and a full featured option. The full featured option is typically your best option to choose just because it allows you to add more information and choose the division. First, we'll go over the simple, temp simple template though. The simple template looks like this. You should see your chapter name, your chapter ID, as well as those training programs we created, and each training program has its own section ID. We can then see that we have a first name, last name, gender, and email option. Just for example, I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of these example rows for you to see what it would look like. So let's say I have a first name and last name, but I don't want to put a gender or email which is perfectly fine, but you'll want to go ahead and leave these headers here. Do not delete them even though you're not gonna put information here. And then I'll continue putting information. And let's say I had another person I wanted to put in automated manufacturing technology. What I'm going to do is copy this and paste that section ID, which is 908, and I'm going to copy and paste this. And then I'm going to type in the next person's information that I wanted to put here. Let's say I did want to include a gender for Bailey, so I could put an F for female, but I don't have an email, so I'm going to leave that blank. I still need to copy and paste the chapter name, as well as that chapter ID, which is the same for everyone. We're not going to drag the corner down, we're just going to copy and paste. 
So I have two automated manufacturing students, one criminal justice, and one agricultural mechanics student. The section ID matches all the way down for each student depending on what program they're in. And then we can choose the save option. Once you've saved that file, you can come back over to your membership page and upload it here where it says select an Excel file. I'll go ahead and show you the full template option before we upload an, a file. The full template looks like this, which you can see there's a lot more information that we can add about each student. So what I'm going to do is just fill out some sample information for you to see. You can see I've entered three students here. And if I don't have an address for any of these three students, I'm going to just delete that information. I'm not going to delete the header or the column it goes in. We're going to leave those there, just leave it blank. I'm going to choose that this person is a student, this person is a student, but let's say this person is a professional. So we would put the letter P, and they're all going to be in high school, so we'll leave secondary. And we may not have a phone number, so we can go ahead and delete that, but leave the header. We may not have an email. For graduation year, for a professional, we can remove that. For a student, we could choose a graduation year. And then we can choose a date of birth. This information pulls over two different conference registrations if you ever were to register them. That way you don't have to keep refilling out this information later in the year. So if we put a date of birth, we could just go ahead and enter that in here. And then let's say we don't want to put a gender so we can leave those blank. And if you require a state ID for your state, you can put that here. If your state does not require it, you can leave it blank. But leave the header here. Do not erase it or the file will not upload. If we wanted to add another criminal justice student, we could do that. We just need to copy and paste that training program name. We need to look at the section ID, which is the 877. So we're going to copy that and paste it. We're not dragging. And then we can copy and paste, copy and paste, and then we can enter in the new student's information that we want to put here. So we'll put this here. And then we don't have an address, let's say, but it's going to be a student Let's say it's going to be a secondary student, which is high school. Let's say we have a phone number. So we're going to put a phone number in here. And maybe we have an email for Bailey. So we can put test at student.com. Just going to pull that over. And then for the graduation year for that student. Six, and then maybe we don't have a date of birth for Bailey, so we'll leave that blank. But we will put a gender, and we don't need a state assigned ID for this state that we're working with. So once we've done all of this, we're just going to save the file to our desktop as an Excel file. Once you save that file back over here on your main page, you'll want to come. Now I've selected the file from my computer, and I want to choose Upload Selected File. You should then be able to scroll down and get a success message, and it will tell you how many were imported. Once you get that success message, that's not the last step. You still need to go up to your main membership tab up here and choose Add Edit Members. This is going to take you back to your training programs we looked at at the very beginning. You'll see everyone we uploaded is currently here, but they're listed in the Not Yet Joined column. So what we need to do for each training program individually is choose the Members button. Your students will be listed in red or professionals if you upload professionals. And you'll want to choose the blue checkbox next to their name before you choose Join Selected. If you would like to get a quote before you join them, you can choose that price quote down here at the bottom of that um, training program. If we're ready to join, we can go ahead and choose Join Selected, and the page will look like this. That way you can choose how would you like to pay. Would you like the invoices split with students on one and professionals on another? And you can accept responsibility and answer the questions on the page. 
Please note that once you choose this Join Now button, there's no drops or substitutions that can be made. So it's really important that when you join these students, you know that they are the correct students and there's no duplicates. After choosing that Join Now button, that should be your last step and you have successfully joined your members. Your invoice will then be found on your main membership page down under Show All Invoices. When you click on that Show All Invoices, you'll see an invoice ID that you can click on related to your training program. If you'd like to see invoices that have already been paid, there's a blue checkbox and you can check here to see if maybe your invoice has already been marked as paid. If you have any questions or you have trouble uploading your file, please feel free to call, chat, or email with us at the information seen on your screen. The chat feature should be at the bottom right hand side of your page when you're logged into the membership system site. You can call us at 844-875-4557 or you can email customercare at skillsusa.org and we're happy to take a look at your file to see if we can help you upload it.